Hey guys, it's Naya and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing a very, 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 very requested video. And that is how I package and ship my orders. At some point, I'll ask my Instagram for questions about my clothing brand. Also, real quick, I'm gonna give y'all a sneak peek. Now, the day that y'all watching this video is actually the day that these masks are dropping. Zodiac sign face mask. They're just like rainbow holographic zodiac sign mask. So if you're trying to go cut one, they on the site. But yeah, today I'm about to show y'all how I package and ship my orders, and then I'm gonna show y'all just one or two orders, and then after I show y'all the orders, then I'm gonna get into answering the questions. So without further ado, let's get into this. Uh, I hope I'm not too bright. First off, you have to have the product. This is on my side. This is the Sewer Gradient hoodie. It just has sewer going down the arm, and then it has sewer like in a gradient on the front. I actually just got finished working, so if I look kind of hit, I've been working all morning, and I'm about to work some more because I got my blanks in, and I'll show y'all. I, I, we gonna get there because people ask me about blanks all the time. But anyways, anyway, first thing you have to do get your product i'm grateful i am grateful and blessed but i have so many orders and i just i'm not going to show y'all the front but this is a thing called a packing slip so you know like when you order stuff online that little piece of paper that comes inside of your package telling you what you ordered that's what a packing slip is so i have the packing slip i print out everybody's packing slips now and i put them with their order i just obviously make sure the product is right with what they ordered after i make sure it's the right thing then i fold their order as such and obviously before this i wash my hands and dry them like so i mean i feel everybody's ordered differently but like it's sorry just, oh. i'm having trouble understanding right now i'm not talking please try a little later okay i'm not talking to you but all right understanding right now you i just had to unplug alexa because she's doing too much nobody was talking to her anyways my desk is like right here y'all can't really see my desk but right now i'm just folding the hoodie and so this is how i fold them to go in their package i do have two different package sizes it just depends on what people order and this is like medium size this is like big size this is just a plain white poly mail if it's bigger than this i just have to use a box and then the smallest size that i have is this small little one this is for like you know if somebody just orders a mask or like a hat or socks or whatever the hoodie definitely could fit in here i just take the hoodie the nicely folded hoodie i put it in the bag like so i have to sit it on the desk for this one. i'm trying to show y'all and do it at the same time though. there it is there y'all go y'all see that y'all see that just pop it in i have specific things that go inside every single order just fold the packing slip fold it like that put that inside the order make sure you have like whatever you keep track of your stuff on make sure you have it in front of you because what i do is you're gonna need that when it's time to write the address and just to make sure so you go to orders and then you are so whatever is on the packing slip obviously i just find that order in within like my shopify if you want to know that's what i use to operate my business online i match up whatever's on the packing slip and i just have that just like open on my thing just so i can have it ready then i put one of these inside now if you've ordered from my brand before you know exactly what this is basically it's like a thank you slip and it has a special coupon code that only people that ordered something previously get i'm covering the code but yeah it just says thank you for shopping la 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 business owners just to save time and money you don't need to go through vista print or whatever made it on my phone like a little random app like pixar or whatever and then put it in a google doc lay it out on a google doc like so and then you can cut it put it in there but then also what i do is i put a physical like business card inside of their packages i don't carry my own business cards around because i have this thing let me show y'all it's so cool I just think it's called a popple it's basically like a virtual business card i have it linked down below but it's so cool so like whenever people ask me about my brand in person i can just like tap the back of their phone and like the link pops up it's so cool bro. so cool but in packages i do give people business cards because like obviously if somebody asks them i want them to be able to hand it out so actually i'm about to show y'all how i make my business cards because i just have a personal laminator but the process i just do the same thing as the other one so here's my laminator i got this from target it was like 20 21 dollars i don't know after it heats up however long it takes to heat up it just depends on whatever one you get you put it in there like so and then you just let it sit and like go through it's going through by itself and now it's coming back out and it's gonna be laminated when it comes out actually real quick oh, is y'all crooked 
Yeah, this is what it looks like when it's done. As y'all can see, it's just like laminated now. And you just weed out the extra. So real quick though, I'm about to laminate these because I get a lot of orders. I'm not bragging or anything, but I get a lot of orders. So I need these too. So I'm about to just laminate these real quick and I'll be right back. Okay y'all, so I just finished laminating all the business cards and I cut them out. Sometimes my cutting is a little wonky, but uh, just put one of the business cards inside of the package. So just a little breakdown summary. We have a thank you card, a business card, and the packing slip. Once the package is packed like I want it to, that's when I take one of these. These are just my from labels because I'm getting to a point where it's like, it's time consuming having to write my business address on every single package. So instead, I just got these address labels. I got these from Target. You can just put them through your printer and it prints right on them. They just like peel off the sticker, bro. Like, I put everything in the middle so it just be easier when I take it all to the post office for the person. And then I take a blank version of the same thing I just had. Whoever's package it is, I write their address on another label. And after I write it, I pop it right next to um, the from label. Y'all know how mail works. Take this little part right here, peel it off, and then seal the package. Ah. <laughs> that could be tricky sometimes because like it's so sticky so boom y'all here's a package and that's done so then after it's done i throw it inside of this yes i got this from the post office because i'm very frequent in there and they were like oh do you want a little box basket and i was like sure about to do all of them but while i'm packaging these orders i'm actually about to go ahead and start answering some questions before i even open my questions i got from instagram i'm just gonna answer just one question i get all the time where do i get my blanks what's the best place to get blanks from everything i talk about in this video will be linked down below so don't fret my favorite blanks come from amazon amazon business if you don't if you have a business and you're not taking advantage of amazon business i highly recommend that you do so walmart is a good place for blanks if you want to do something like more in person why because they usually have like gildan and hanes and those are the same brands that you'll find on like Amazon Business and all these other places I'm about to list. The only benefit about the websites that I'm gonna tell you about is because they usually offer like sh free shipping deals and like obviously you don't have to leave your house for the blank. Sometimes they have like way more color variety than like Walmart. I feel like Walmart, I go to Walmart when I need like blanks urgently. Shirt Champ is a really good site for blanks. My Clothing Shop Online, they're a little bit more expensive but like that's a good place for blanks if you're trying to find like exclusive type stuff. I do say that you should get your blanks in bulk so like whenever you're ordering blanks always get them in bulk especially if it's something that you plan on producing a lot it's really all the information i have on blanks for real it's gonna take research you want to make sure where, where you're ordering from is legit i ordered from this one place that i will never order again i don't even know the site name but like i think personally i think they hacked my business debit card because after i ordered off of them then that's when my business debit card got hacked either use what i just gave y'all or research on your own and find your own but definitely do your research before you just place big orders on random sites um, now i'm gonna move on to questions that i got like off of instagram how much time and money did it take um it is kind of past tense it's it's taking time and money as the days go by constantly to be an entrepreneur quote unquote um you're gonna lose and like risk a whole lot of money because the success is money like you're, you're gonna you have to do big risks to make big successes for example i just did a photo shoot for like models locally to get all the stuff for them to wear it was like 350 350 dollars yes so like those pictures were worth it those would drive sales the thing is you have to think about the bigger picture because yeah i spent 350 dollars on clothing for models but then i just made that times like four back already within like the first week of my brand launching time it takes a lot of time i can't even tell you how much time but money wise um like i mean the machines alone i didn't pay for the machines i actually received them as a gift out of the blue but after looking them up they're like that was like 500 dollars. you have to your first set of blanks i got my first set of blanks as a christmas gift 
so but i remember the total of it being like 140 something i got like five extra smalls five smalls five mediums five larges five extra larges regardless if you plan on making a business don't try to go into it cheaply or you're not gonna get anywhere do you want to do clothing design as a career absolutely um i've always wanted to do clothing design as a career since i was like 10 12 i have sketchbook a good 12 sketchbooks from when i was younger from when i just like would do like little sketches of clothing or i would get those little um my mom would get me those little like fashionista i forgot the brand but like it was something like that where you like color in their outfits or do all that type of stuff 10 year old me would be so proud of 18 year old me right now i would show you all the sketchbooks but i don't think i'm gonna show nobody because low-key i have plans on making those real and just doing like a whole little sweet thing for it definitely definitely have always saw fashion design in my future honestly i've always wanted to be a fashion designer now that i think about it because when people used to ask me i would always be like a fashion designer and then i stopped saying it because like <laughs> it's funny why though i noticed that my siblings or like people around me will be like i want to be a fashion designer too and if you know me you know i cannot stand when people copy me people be like oh yeah you should be flattered if people are copying you but it's like when you can see somebody blatantly copying you that is the most annoying thing ever for me personally it's different from being inspired by me but like if you're just saying everything i'm saying doing everything i'm doing that's annoying bro like i don't like that for a minute i stopped saying that i want to be a fashion designer but now I'm back on it because I'm actually doing it. I'm not she, I'm not me. What was the inspiration behind the name? So if y'all don't know, if you've never checked out the FAQ tab on So Are The Brand's website. So Where Means Sister and Friends. In the beginning of this brand, uh, the clothing brand was ran by me and my sister. But now it's just really ran by me and she's a co-founder the last question is what inspired you to start your own business ever since i've been younger as i said earlier i've always known this was supposed to be me doing orders and answering questions but like i can't multitask like that because i'll start writing what i'm saying i've always known i wanted to have my own business regardless of what it was the thing with me is i don't want to start a business and be like everybody else if y'all know what i mean like i wasn't just about to just start buying bundles off aliexpress and selling them to people and be like oh bundles by Naya like everybody does that like, I wanted to have a brand or a business that's like really unique nobody else could do it and like I'm actually making it putting in time even though it's a lot don't get me wrong oh and something that inspires me constantly every day is I don't know if y'all know but like the brand Moon X Cosmetics seeing I literally started following like y'all should go look first of all it's on Instagram but it was just skincare brand and I literally started following her when she had like 3k followers and now she has 300k i've watched her like glow up she made a million dollars in eight minutes y'all so it's just kind of like i feel like that also inspires me and motivates me just watching her and she's like young black woman if you're if you just happen to be watching this hey girl if you have more questions feel free to leave them down below i know this video was short but like i really wanted to just hop to the point because i actually have stuff to do i will show y'all a little unboxing real quick because right before i started filming this video i got a package from amazon so i got a bag on top of the box so we can just see it in the bag real quick oh here's a hoodie i get a big box like this every week just because like, i have to order blanks constantly also a tip make sure your profit and like your revenue from your business is paying for more product your your money is making your money basically if you're old enough if you're of age i definitely recommend starting a new like bank account for your business because child if i were to keep the money that i make from so where and my other brand and diet if i were to keep a bank account for my brands for my businesses within my actual checking account my plain checking account it would be terrible because i would not be making really any money because i feel like i would be spending all of the money low key uh, while i'm opening this uh the other day i was thinking about starting maybe like a like a limited like 10 person one-on-one -on -one, like business class maybe not like class really but just like a two-day three-day um like one-on-one -on -one type I'm in business and marketing in college right now, so I feel like I'm learning a lot. I feel like with the resources I have, I can teach a lot of young like entrepreneurs or want want to be entrepreneurs and business owners how to succeed. So leave a comment down below and thumbs up this video if I should do that. Then we can do Zoom and I can like give y'all homework and all stuff and stuff. So like let me know if that's a good idea because I will do that and y'all know I will do that quick and it, it'll be cheap too it'll be like ten dollars and I can do the class like every 
every month I can do like a different class maybe include more people each time I got some leggings in here some pants some jogging pants by the way y'all today's Monday today's Labor Day so like I couldn't go to the post office today if I wanted to but yeah it's still a work day and that's the thing about being an entrepreneur you have to work every single day like you have to regardless like yeah you're gonna want to hang out with your friends you're gonna want to hang out with your boyfriend but before you go make sure you do at least something for your business every single day so that's that if you're watching this here's challenge let's go binge watch all of my videos because we trying to make youtube another source of income for me so so yeah that's it for this video if y'all enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank y'all for 1.8k also like who you know hit 1.8k without posting any videos for like a month who you know <laughs> so make sure to follow my social medias they'll be on the screen comment down below if y'all want me to do that little entrepreneur class and tell me if you would sign up because it's only be like ten dollars and leave me video requests also but i will talk to y'all in my next video bye <laughs> yeah, YouTube keep copyrighting my outro, so, um, bye. Make sure to go check out the site. Go order something right now, period. All right.